What's up people of the internet? It's Paris here with yet another video. In this video I'll be testing the Intel Celeron N2840 which is a CPU based on the Silvermount architecture and part of the Batria family of power efficient processors. It has 2 cores and 2 threads and it has a frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics Batria as the integrated graphics which have 4 unified shaders and a frequency of up to 7 MHz in the N2840 case. It's also based on the Intel HD 4000's architecture. I'm using the latest driver suite available. I also have 4GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a slow hard drive for the operating system and also which game is installed. As to operating system, I'm using Windows Exact Optimum 10 Pro version 2. All the specs are in the video description. Today, I'll be sacrificing my Celeron using a special ritualistic tool called Halo Blade, Senwa Sacrifice. I'm gonna be using the memory duct up before watching the game and I've set it to clean the RAM whilst usage reaches 90%. Also, because the game initially launched in software dark texture of monsters, the CPU was doing all the rendering and the game didn't even load at all because the Intel HD page doesn't support DX12, I had to make the game run in DX11 by right clicking on my game shortcut, then go to properties and in target, press space and type minus and DX11 as I'm doing it, then click apply. Finally, here's what happens if you try to use FSR. Yep, that advanced alien technology is too much for Intel HD graphics beta. What's worse is that you can't start the game afterwards. You have to go to users, updater, local, Hellblade game, saved, config, Windows no editor which is where the config files of the game are located. Then open the game user settings.ina file with notepad and in it scroll down until you find the FSR preset value and change it from whatever it is to off. And let's finally get straight to the sacrifice of the N2840. After seeing two FPS, the reasonable decision might have been to lower the resolution from the settings, but first of all, you can't go and lower to 1234 by 768 from the settings menu, and second, I know a much more efficient way of lowering the resolution to much lower than that without lowering the quality of the game interface. So, 
We turn to the config files folder, then open the engine.ini file. Press space twice. Now, you need to copy and paste this value which I will share in the pinned comment. What this r.screen percentage value does is that it lowers the rendering resolution but not the interface one. The best part is you can set it to whatever you want. Right now it's at 50%, so half of 1366 by 768. Ok, maybe we should go even lower with that resolution. Let's roll the screen percentage value to 25 for 1 quarter of 1366 by 768. You know what? I have another trick up my sleeve. I'm gonna use Potato Spec Gamer's lowered mod from his recently released Hellblade video, so massive shout out to him, I'll share the download link to the mod in the pinned comment as well. Using the mod is pretty simple, you just have to go to the config files folder, then just extract the engine.rni file from the mod and replace the original one. Ignore the game user settings.rni file from the mod as it doesn't help at all, just trust me. Also I've lowered the r.screen percentage value back to 25 just because.
Bruh. To end it, I need to mention a strange problem with the game of my N2840 laptop. When I reach this point of the first chapter, I get stuck with nothing but the sky visible. To fix it, I had to install a save game for the ending, then return to the game and press continue, torture myself playing to the final part of the game all the way till the credits, and only then can you go back to the main menu and play from the second chapter of the game. So if you're desperate enough to play this game on your potato PC and you have problems with getting stuck in certain parts of the game, I'll also share a save game in the pinned comment.